We've been telling you about McLaren's plans for a new Ultimate Series hypercar for some time, a project heretofore known only by its P15 internal project code. This is the stripped-out super performer that insiders promised it would be quicker around a racetrack than the seminal P1. The fundamental ingredients, an overabundance of power in an extremely lightweight package, were already known, so it seemed that the only secrets left to spill would be the relative quantities of those as well as the final exterior design. We were wrong. McLaren managed to keep the best secret under wraps until the car's official unveiling, its name. Meet the McLaren Senna. There's a certain Ferrari Enzo quality to this news, both in the decision to dig into the brand's illustrious motorsports history for its most extreme project, Ayrton Senna having won all three of his Formula One drivers' championships with the team, and also for the confidence that it projects. After something of a shaky start with the original MP412C, McLaren has become a brand that most definitely has its swagger on, buoyed by rave reviews for the new 720S and strong sales for the entry-level 570 models. The company has also proved capable of selling out every limited edition before officially confirming their existence, with the two-seat Senna being the latest case in point. The total production run of 500 units is already spoken for despite a price tag that, in the United States, is likely to run very close to seven figures as delivered. The same applies for its Grand Tourer sibling, the three-seat BP23, which is McLaren's other current Ultimate Series project. There are owners' names attached to each of the full run of those 106 cars, this before final details have even been confirmed. We're told that many buyers have opted for one of each. Sounds like it's fun at the top. Aside from its name, the Senna has plenty more awe to invoke. It is designed for track use first and foremost, the idea is less daily driver than a car that is street legal for drives to and from the track. That has led to some serious mass saving, including the development of an even lighter form of carbon fiber, and although the power output is impressive, the claimed weight is even more extraordinary. McLaren says that it has turned up its twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 to produce a claimed peak of 789 horsepower and 590 pounds to foot of torque. The hybrid P1 had a total system output of 903 horses, but the Senna does without the electrical components, motor, and battery pack and their attendant weight. McLaren says that, in its lightest possible configuration, the Senna weighs just 2,641 pounds dry, we'll see when we get one on our scales. More relevant is that this is over 400 pounds lighter than the company's estimation of the P1's mass and just under 400 pounds heavier than the dry weight it cites for the original McLaren F1. Official performance estimates haven't been issued, but we can safely presume they will be equally astonishing. Given that the 720S is already quicker around most racetracks than was the P1, we can bet that the Senna will raise the bar by several additional notches. According to McLaren, its deal with the Senna Foundation to use the iconic driver's name is limited to this car. If so, that's a shame, as the perfect title for the production spec BP23 three-seater would surely be the Ayrton. Deliveries will start next year, and although US pricing hasn't been confirmed, any putative American buyers will already know if they have made the cut. In the United Kingdom the car costs £750,000, including Britain's 20% VAT sales tax. That's equivalent to $837,000 before tax at current exchange rates, barely more than the McLaren F1 cost 23 years ago.